This is a nice touch to the front of the box. Hello, ladies and What's going on? It's Andrew or Sludge here, and today we have the Peel iPhone 7 Super Thin iPhone Case. Jet Black. By Peel.com. On the back here it says, The Peel Story. Our little company was born out of a problem that we desperately wanted to solve. We loved our sexy iPhones, but hated the idea of ruining its good looks by slapping on disgusting cases. We were sick of cases that made our phones look gross. At the same time, we wouldn't dare to take the risk and not protect our expensive devices. What if there was some middle ground? A case that protects you from bumps, scratches, and light drops, but it doesn't ruin your device's aesthetic. That was the basis for creating Peel. For the past four years, we've been producing the original and best ultra-thin iPhone cases. We are so excited to bring you our new and improved design for the next iPhone. If you need anything at all, don't hesitate to reach us at... Uh, don't hesitate to reach out. We are at uh, hello at bipeel.com. Thank you for being a customer and being a part of our story. Enjoy. John, Marshall, Jason. Peel HQ, Marshall, John. Okay, I'm excited. So this is a... Uh, I get this, including shipping, was 27... 50 or something. Um, I got like a 10% off code. It's normally about 30 bucks. Um, all right. Let's crack this open. As you do. Um, so it is a super thin jet black iPhone case. It's going to go on my jet black iPhone. Basically, I wanted to replace the jet black on my phone with a jet black that I didn't care if it got scratched. Whoops. The real jet black on my iPhone, I'm scared of scratching, so this is kind of to replace that. Um, and it was expensive, but whoops. Ooh, can I give myself a paper cut? Whoops. All right, <laughs> all right. So on the back, it says how to install your peel. Step one: slide your iPhone into the bottom uh, of your peel case. Step two: carefully snap the corners in the top. Need help? And here it is. Similar to the uh, actual jet black iPhone. Very, very thin case. Um, it is, I think, 0.35 millimeters. It's got a little plastic seal over the back uh, right now. So here's my iPhone currently in my extra life case. And it's not like I'm going to get rid of this case. This is a very special case for me. Um, I just wanted to show off my phone a bit more, and I want something a bit thinner right now. Um, just lately I've been wanting to admire the iPhone 7, but I'm scared of it because of the jet black. So, let's take the back, let's take the back, let's take the, this case off and look at the back really fast. So, it's a bit smudged up right now. I don't know if you can even tell that. It's so black. Um, I'll clean it a bit, and then we can put this nice jet black replacement case on it. Now, in the comments, you may be thinking, or even to yourself, maybe not in the comments, maybe saying this, but um, you might be like, why, why would you get a case that's the same color as your phone? Uh, eh, I felt like it. So, I like that there's stuff in here. It's going to scratch the back up. All right, very thin, very, very thin. Slightly lighter black. All right, so put the bottom in first, as it says. All right, easy enough. And then carefully snap the two top corners in. And that's it. Wow, it is very thin. <laughs> I really didn't expect it. Wow, all right, sweet. It makes the buttons very flush on the sides. So that's about how thi uh, thick it is. It's just about as thick as the buttons. Let's. I'm sure this is this case is gonna scratch up. Let's peel this top corner off here. All right. And this is gonna be a fingerprint and magnet, I'm sure. Yep. But there's the case. Um, nearly the exact same as the actual phone, but its cutouts are very, very precise. I like that a lot. Uh, it's because I was, I don't know if you can see that, but they're very precise on all of the speaker grill and the uh, lightning port. 
on the sides here, the buttons fit perfectly. You have access to them uh, very well there. The cutouts are on the back here with the camera and the flash. Very, very precise. It goes right up to the camera, helps conceal the bump a little bit, and then along here with the seat bike button. And I do have a screen protector on this, so that makes it look a bit weirder from the front, but whatever. So yeah, um, the good thing about Glossy is that it does not slip very much. So I can hold my phone nearly completely vertical before it starts slipping out of my fingers, which is pretty sweet. So yeah, um, that's really it for this video. Not much else to say about this case. Uh, it's definitely not going to protect from drops that much. It's very thin, obviously, and matches almost up perfectly right here along the edge. You can see just how thin it is. So, it's nearly thinner than my screen protector to give you an idea. Um, yeah, I'm super excited about this case, actually. The only thing that some people may not like is that it hides the Apple logo from the back. So there is no way to see the Apple logo anymore because this is a completely obviously opaque case because it's shiny and everything. This car is almost as badly as the real Jack Black. Um, so yeah, that's really going to be it. So tell me what you think about this case in the comment below, comments below. Um, check out the link in the description. I believe I have a promo code for you to use to get 20% off um, all things on the Pew website. So yeah, um, there are many other colors in this by the way. There's all the normal colors of um, silver, rose gold, gold, and matte black. So, yeah. Like the video if you liked it. Favorite the video is favorite. Make sure to subscribe for more, and I will see you all later. Take care.